Hello, I'm Süleyman. Today, Mehmet Akif, Hasan Berk, Kenan Ufuk and I would like to present you the system that we built for restaurant management. In this presentation, you will be able to see the purpose of our project with its headlines. Firstly, we will talk about the problems of restaurants in storing their data. After that, we will inform you about why they need a database system and what kind of fa facilities the database can provide. We will also talk about the researches and the results of these researches that we received from restaurants. Uh, while talking about our steps in designing the database, we will show you our normalization, normalization steps uh, and the ER diagram. Finally, we will show you the SQL queries one by one that we use to embody the system. Then we will come to the end of the presentation after performing a few database operations in uh, user interface, our user interface. Now, uh, let's start with problems uh, with restaurant section. Uh, there are similar problems for businesses that do not have a database. Uh, for example, important information such as how much goods are purchased from suppliers and uh, staff salaries, etc., can be lost when you need it. Uh, you cannot track which meal is sold and how many. Uh, if you don't have a database that will help you, you will be wasting your time and this waste of time is a something you don't want at all. Uh, some of your ingredients will be expired because you cannot keep the information. As a result, you will constantly lose because you cannot maintain integrity of information. Now, let me explain why your restaurants need a database system. Database helps you to centralize all of your information for your business and keep track of your ingredients, uh, hirings and employees, etc. Uh, you can easily see, the, see what foods are selling more and which, food, which foods are selling less. Uh, in this way, you can revise and optimize your menu. Uh, minimize your restaurant's waste by using a database to streamline your purchasing. You can easily manage many service dates, uh, figure out necessary purchases and see what needs to be upgraded. Uh, and we come to the end of my part. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Uh, I leave the turn to our friend Mehmet Akif. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Lemon. So I will talk about the, our research. So to come up with a useful and working management system, we need to go to the bottom of the problems. We need to find the correct source of information. Okay, so we go, we go for past experiences and ask people who actually run a restaurant. So it has been seven years, like I'm away from my family, so I have plenty of experience about dining outside. Overall, each group member examines different restaurants and collects information from websites like their brochures, their menus, and so on and so forth. For that, we can create a database management system that could reply any possible customer request. So, furthermore, like we have a questionnaire here that you will see the question in a minute provided us uh, in months inside about the attributes which are required in a proper uh, database management system for a restaurant. So the first question help us to classify restaurants whether they have a DBMS or not. Then participants took different questions based on their answer. So to be able to come up with a product like a nicer newer no product we know we have to study dbms available in the market so with the help of following question we try to understand what the customer expectations are what they like what they don't like about their dbms and their answer help us a lot during the creation process and sure we want to improve <laughs> their satisfaction with a new product yeah 
we have some group of organization like some people, some restaurants don't have any TVMS like old-fashioned uh, working style. So the main question for us is what kind of product might urge them to take that step, like having a BBMS for their restaurant. We try to figure out their preferences, like their concerns, uh, with the help of those questions. So then we tailored indeed the, uh, the features that our product has uh, later with the help of the answers that we collect. Hello everyone. I'm Hasan Berk and I'm presenting to you normalization steps and details of ER diagram of our system. This is an normalized data set of our system. We have 39 columns and 46 rows. To get one NF, we define six primary keys. Primary keys are restaurant ID, meal name, staff ID, supplier name, order ID and customer ID. To get 2NF, we divide our 1NF table into 6 tables and remove duplicate data in tables. Table names are in order, restaurant info, meal info, staff info, payment info, supplier info and customer info. To get 3NF, we remove transitive dependencies from staff table and label the new table as branch info. And primary key of this table is branch now. These are the normalization steps of our system. And I'm continuing with ER diagrams. As you can see, we have seven tables and I'm going to talk about their relationships between to each other. I would like to start with restaurant info. Restaurant info has five attributes and restaurant ID is primary key of the table. Restaurant info has many-to-many -many relationship with supplier info. That means every restaurant has to have at least one supplier and vice versa. Likewise with customer info. Restaurant info also has many-to-many -many relationship with meal info, but one difference. And that is meal can't be in restaurant menu. It can be zero or many. Restaurant info has one to many relationship between branch info and payment info. Restaurant may have many branch or one branch, but one branch has to connect one restaurant. The relationship between payment info and restaurant info has one difference. Every order must connect one restaurant, but restaurant can have any order or have many orders. Payment info has two other relationship. One is with meal info and it's many to many relationship. In order can be one or many meal. However, a meal can't be in order or can be in many order. Other relationship is between customer info and it's one to many. Customer have one or many order, but then an order is unique to a customer. Branch info has three attributes and branch noise primary key. Branch info and stuff info is one to many relationship. Branch has one or many stuff, but the stuff must be in one branch. I want to continue with our SQL queries and data in it. In the next nine slide, you're gonna see how we create tables, views, and sample data in that tables. Here is the restaurant table queries and sample data. This is supplier info table and queries how the table created. In the next two slides, we we'll see staff table queries and sample data. Staff ID primary key of the table. Here is the branch info table. This is the customer info table. This is the payment info table, has seven attributes. Here's meal info table and we can see how much meal is, how many calories in it and potential allergies in it. This is views we create for user interface. I'm ending up my part and Kenan Afuk explains our user interface. Thank you.
Hello everyone, I'm Kenan Ufuk. For the user interface part, restaurant managers are able to do and see the following. A list of all orders that have been handled by a certain restaurant, a list of all meals and how many times they have been ordered, a way to change the price of an item, a way to add a new stuff to the system and a way to remove an item from an order. Now let's go to the user interface part. This is our login page. And if you get in, if you enter wrong username and password combination, it will give us an error page like this. After you get in the system, after you get in the system, there are five features which our user interface can do. First, firstly, this table shows us a list of all orders that have been handled by a certain restaurant. And if we add new order, it will show up in this table. Meal name, la margin. And show. It gives us a successful message. After that, it came here. And also, it came here. And this is our total order table. You can see all the meals and how many times they have been ordered here and we can add lahmacun here and this number became 2. And also we can add new meal which isn't exist here. successful message and check it in here and also we can change for price we can change price for meal and it's changed and we can add a uh, new stuff to the system but if we get in a stuff ID which is exists in here we get a failure message and that stuff cannot be added to the system let's try one And it gives us a failure message and nothing added. After that, if we get in a stuff ID which isn't exist here, we can add that stuff to our to our system. And it's added. It's in here. And this is our remove feature. We can remove an order from an item just by entering the order ID. And la margin is deleted and we can also delete the others. This is all of our user interface and you can log out. If you have any questions, we are happy to answer. Thank you for listening to us.